All right, as our birthday people are coming up, I'd like to mention several things. First of all, uh, we, you've heard about Laura Mertens and her triathlon career, which began two years ago in Palm Springs. Well, she ran the same event in Palm Springs yesterday, and she beat everybody in every category by a minute. And she got first place, and we're very proud of her. Let's have a big hand for Laura Mertens. And yesterday, also, Arden, Paula, where are you, Arden? There he is, way back here. So Arden and his brother's nonprofit, Kids for Community, gathered 240 volunteers, and they stuffed 2,500 stockings to be distributed to homeless shelters and low-income families. Let's hear it for Arden. And then behind me in blue, come on up here guys so they can see. This is a pretty cool accomplishment. This is the, the championship team from NFL Flag Football San Diego. They won the Super Bowl for third and fourth grade on November 18th. And that was out of 63 teams they came out on top. Let's have a big hand for them. Congratulations guys. I want to note the coaches also, uh, Coach Josh Wright, I think he's in the back of the rear. There he is, he came up front, okay. Coach Josh Wright, assistant coach Mike McAdams, and then our key players, quarterback Tom Lowe. Wide receiver and running back Beckett Hur, wide receiver running back Aiden Wright, and wide receiver Nicholas Kim. Let's hear it for him. Great job, guys. Thank you very much. All right, finally, uh, Belle and Bailey Thomas, Annabelle Price, Julia Gabriel, they've all been working very hard for a performance of the Nutcracker at the Spreckles Theater beginning this Thursday. They're with the City Ballet Production, so let's have a hand for them as well. <laughs> Lots of great accomplishments. All right, so birthday people, let's see, who has a birthday on December 4th? There we go. Happy birthday. You know what you get to do then, right? Okay. Our flag is up. Everybody's facing the flag. Politely. Hands over your hearts because we're making a promise and you get to start us off. You ready? Okay, here we go. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. That is a big group. There we go, and rounds today. All right, we'll try on Happy Birthday, a Happy Birthday song for all our birthday people. And here we go. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear birthday people. Happy Birthday to you. Excellent. Thank you. All right, in their second to last, second to last, the parents Maggie and Owen, our president. The letter inscribed this week is E, which means enrich the world for all. You can do that by just being kind and helping others and <coughs> just really helping people and making the world a better place. Let's say strive together. Seek always to do your best. Treat people and property with respect. Revere the truth. Invest in your future. Value school rules, your heritage, and personal responsibilities. Enrich the world for all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, birthday people. Go back to your classes. Thank you. Uh, next Monday, next Monday, we have our next round of presidential candidates, and you'll hear from all of them. Student council representatives, current student council representatives, will be having a pizza party tomorrow to thank you for your good work. 
That will be at noon in the auditorium. We have a book fair going on. It has begun in the Coxedine Library. The book fair will run every day from 7.30 to 5. On Friday, it will close at 1 o'clock. Visit the book fair. I think you can find lots of things there for presents. And also, we have a concurrent used book drive. Now, you know what it's like to go to the doctor. Sometimes it's, it can make you a little nervous. Well, doctors are receiving books that we are donating. And those books go to nervous patients, and they feel much better about things. They get to read a good story. Suddenly, going to the doctor's office isn't so scary. So everybody help out. If you've got books at home that you've read, you've enjoyed, but maybe they're a little too young for you, or your siblings, then bring them to school. We'll have a great book drive this week. Our season of giving is featuring that. We begin today. We have a lovely program last week. I think all of us felt like we were receiving more than we were giving with that fantastic choir. And I hope you felt felt the same way and continue to feel that way all the way through the holidays. Uh, we have a special request of our student council. All of us, we were missing one or two people in the photo that we took last week, so immediately following flag raising, if you would go to the auditorium steps, we'll take one more photo, hopefully with everybody in it from first through fifth grade. Ahorita vamos a tener la frase de las this phrase of the week is in honor of this week's book fair. A book is a dream that you hold in your hand. Repeat that in Espanol. Libro es un suelo. Que tienes en tus manos. The sentence of the week is, this week we will go to the book fair. Please repeat after us. Just sing tea. Just sing tea. Woman chu. Woman chu. Shu jan. When we say yes, yes, please say bukashi. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. All right, two final announcements. A reminder. There we go. A reminder that you need to be in a supervised area at all times, and that includes after school. We've had some students in areas where they should not be, and again, we can't keep you safe if we don't know where you are. So please make sure that you're in a supervised area. And sadly, we are spelling the end of slime at the lower school. Slime is no more. So if you have slime in your backpack or otherwise, it goes home and stays home. Why? Because we're starting to get slime in other areas of the school. Slime in all its forms, including the playground turf. And that's not good. So slime, please take it home, do not bring it, unless the fourth grade teachers in the business sale have included them in some product that you're making, and then with their permission. All right, thank you for your attention, everybody, and have a great week.